super early it is about quarter to six i've been waking up about half past five because we've gone back an hour since being in uh, penang my body is waking up at like half past six but really it's half past five i am out for a little morning run the sun isn't even up yet it's raining as well which i wasn't expecting when i came outside i came out the door and i was like oh maybe i won't be going but it's only like just staying a little bit so it's all right so good i am not gonna go the way i went yesterday because the way i went yesterday if you didn't see yesterday's vlog was a lot of uphill a lot a lot a lot a lot of uphill so i'm just gonna do a little bit of uphill and then i'm gonna turn back and go along the beach is the plan and are these reindeer and if they are reindeer why do they have them in june I don't know, it looks kind of Christmassy to me. Here's a bit of the hill that I'm going to go up. Can you tell how steep that is? You know you'll tell, but when you're running up it, that's bloody steep. And also I figured that coming out at this time, when the sun is not up, it's no good because these running pants that I have are too big for me and they fall down. They haven't been falling down recently and I just thought, oh, maybe I'm getting fatter. But actually, I've realised that it's not. It's because... I'm normally sweating and so I think this is maybe why anyway because I'm sweating and so the sweat keeps them up is that a thing could that work I don't know but they're falling down now and the sun's not out but every time I'm out before and the sun's been out I'm not even running up this hill now I'm walking in my uh, yeah every time I've come up before the sun has been up and I've been sweating more and they've stayed up anyway Now, wait, we've come down for breakfast. I have gone for fruit and some toast. I tried to find yesterday when I went out shopping, I tried to find some oats so that I could make like porridge oats to have with my fruit in the morning, but I couldn't find any. If anyone knows where I can get um, porridge oats in Phuket, let me know. Mmm, that watermelon. Do you think it could be good with your oats? I was going to get fruit. Yeah, the option is fruit or corn flakes. You even got corn flakes. To get or juice, yeah, you have to get fruit tomorrow. We're having a change of plan. We've just come out, we're all raring to go. We're going to get the bus over to uh, Pipette Town, but we've come out and we've changed our mind. We decided we're going to have a beach day, so we're going to go back up and get changed, get into our beach stuff. Okay, take two. We're on the beach now. It's warm. Oh, it's got a nice breeze about it though, so that's quite dangerous though because you don't realise you're catching the sun. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. And I see you shine in every colour, resting your head in my arms. You sing la 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 My God, I think I might be in love. Get rid of all your sorrows in the summer city. You'll never feel alone as long as you're with me. Get rid of all your sorrows in the summer city. There's no place on earth. I was feeling a little bit lazy, so I just had a little stroll along the beach. I think that I might walk to the end. It looks like a pretty long beach. I'm not entirely sure how long it is, but I figured I'd just walk the length of the beach and back. And partly why I'm doing this is because I'm in a Fitbit challenge with some people and this person, one person that I've never seen before in this challenge. I don't know who they are, no clue. 
I don't know whether they run like 10 miles every day or something ridiculous. They do a hell of a lot of steps, so I'm determined to uh, try and beat them. My competitive nature is making me uh, come out and do this walk. I wanted to ask you advice on something. We are, as you may or may not know, we've got like a week here and then we're going up near, well, not in Chiang Mai, it's about 40 minutes outside Chiang Mai to stay with the family. And then after that, I have no plans. And what I was kind of thinking I wanted to do was maybe go somewhere for a month. I say a month because generally UK Passport has like 30 days on um, visa exemptions or visas or whatever places. I want to kind of maybe get somewhere, get a rental for a month. And I wanted your advice on where that place could possibly be. In a couple of the Malaysia vlogs, there was a few people that were commenting on places to go and it was because we were so far behind with uploads, I never ended up being able to, I didn't see the comments until like, after we left, obviously. So, I wanted to ask you guys, do you, have you been, if you are travellers or if you've been on holiday somewhere or whatever, the criteria is pretty cheap, I fancy like a little island or something, so some sort of island in Southeast Asia, little island where we can get a monthly rental and vegan food would obviously be a plus. I think that's the only requirement really. Yeah, some sort of tropical island in Southeast Asia, vegan food, relatively cheap. If anybody knows anywhere, I was thinking potentially maybe um, Gili Air or one of the Gili Islands, which is just off Lombok in uh, Indonesia. That was my first thought, so I may do that, but if anyone has got any other suggestions, or just to be honest, any suggestions on places in Southeast Asia to go at all, rather, because I feel like we're sticking to a very kind of tourist you can do like the touristy things, I do like going and seeing the proper country and, you know, like here, this Phuket here, we're not seeing real Thailand whatsoever, and I, that's what I enjoy about traveling, seeing the real, no, don't get me wrong, I mean, I'm enjoying it here, and I quite like this sometimes, and I'd like to see the real Thailand as well. And so anyway, any advice, tips that you've got, leave them down below in the comments for me, please. We are heading out for the evening, and we've been back at the apartment for ages. I have to come back upstairs, because this one came out. Oh, oh, hang on, bring it down. Hang on, oh, oh, there you are. The initial plan was just to go in there. So echoey in this. What we call the stairwell. Is it called a stairwell? Yeah. Um, yeah, we were just going to head out and buy some fruit, but I don't know what we're doing now. We may go out and get something to eat, or it's gotten so much later than I thought it was getting, to be quite honest. I, I have no idea. What, do you know what the time is? It's seven ish, maybe? No, I don't know either. Seven. Seven. Three two. Seven three two. Three two. Three two. Yeah. Half seven. No, but three two. Oh, three minutes two seven. Three minutes seven. Like, okay, we're going out. Don't know where. Oh, look at the beach. Isn't it so nice? Look at the Whoa, look at this. It really does. The beach. It goes so far up, like the tide comes in Where so, so much. Signs? It's actually quite a nice beach though, isn't it? Like Where to the signs? Swim. swim. I don't have no idea, like all the way over there. The signs to say swim in this bit because in these, in these outer bits, like we're staying, as you can see, like we're right on the end of the beach, which is quite nice. I'm glad we're staying right at the end of the beach. But that's where the um, the boats go when they're doing parasailing and stuff. Do you think they're called parasailing? Yeah, parasailing. Yeah. And like the swimming area is up near there, so when we've been in the beach, in the beach, in the pool, in the pool, oh my goodness, in the sea today, it's like over there, right in the middle. It started raining. First time we've walked this Yeah, it is. But it's raining now. No. We decided on the kind of semi plan for the evening. We're not sure whether we're, we're not sure whether we're getting something to eat or not, but. So you want to get another fried ice cream? Like, was it yesterday you got one? Oh, fried. Yeah, it's called fried ice cream, is it? I'm sure it is another thing that's called fried ice cream. 
Um, no, it's not like bright. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The ice cream that Stephen had yesterday, he would like another one today, and we found one. Yesterday we, played, we paid 100 baht, which is £2.30? Yep. £2.30. We found one as we were walking away. I think I maybe showed it in the vlog, I'm not sure. It was 80 bar. So, he wants some ice cream. So we may get ice cream before we find something to eat, or we may not get something to eat, we're not sure. We are no better off knowing what we're doing. We just got on to Bangla Road, which is tell. real. You can tell, yeah. I was telling Stephen about it, it's real. It's not, well, so yeah, we use one of those lasers. Bangla Walking Street. Bangla Walking Street, yeah, it's Walking Street now, and it is just oh, yeah, bars. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's a ton of bars and stuff, and yeah, not where we're going. I'm good, thank you. It only opens at night. It's like no joint, yeah? It works like this of a night. So loud. It's just a place for bad traffic to come and get pissed. That's Bangla Road. Backpacker Street of um, Patong. I, I, don't, I don't think I've said that we're staying on Patong. We're staying on Patong Beach. Which is... <laughs> Why not, hey? <laughs> We just have to stop and get this ice cream. Yeah, I know oh my goodness. Pot, and I know that's a tin can. They look amazing. Is it like a wafery thing? Is it nice? No, because that was more. Well, it wasn't in a cone. There's <laughs> too much. Yeah, it's gonna fall out. If he drops that on the floor, I'll go mad. When you adopt a cat, you have to pay for it. Yeah. You pay like for its injections and vaccinations and things, and you may be like, it's like more like a contribution to walk in. So we have come back to the place we came to the other night because, of course, Stephen always wants to come back the place it's the first place that we go in a new place becomes the place that you want to go to <laughs> 